All right, so this is going to be a real super simple tutorial on how to produce a normal map inside of Maya. So basically what I have right now is what you'll probably need to set up if you want to do this, just a single polygon plane I scaled up to the shape of a door. And then I went and made some simple geometry here on the edges, just a couple of stretched out cubes that I um, just beveled the edges here under mesh or edit mesh bevel and uh, gave it that ed curved edges and you can see they're all separate um, and then little spheres I put just to be like super big bolts or something and what I'm gonna do is use this to make a normal map so that I get this detail on this single polygon plane so what I need to do right now since these are all separate is just select drag all of them and under the polygons menu mesh combine so now when I use it and select it for what I'm doing, it's one single mesh now, and this is one single mesh. So I want to get this detail on this using a normal map. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go under the menu for rendering, under lighting and shading, transfer maps. Okay, and I'm going to go edit, reset settings, just so we can reset them. Now I have both of my single low res and my high res object. Um, the target mesh will be the target, which is what I want this, so I'll click Add Selected. I'm going to open up Source Mesh, and I'll select my high res and Add Selected on it. Alright, now you have all your different maps you can make here. We want to make a normal map, so we're going to click Normal. It opens up all our settings. One thing we want to do is go back real fast on this door here. Hold down Right Mouse Button, Assign New Material, and assign a new blend and we'll have our blend right here we'll come back to that in just a second okay so we have a new like reflective material on it okay so we're gonna go back into our map options here it says what do we want to call the normal map or where do we want to save it so we're gonna click the little folder here and on the desktop I'm just gonna call it normal map we want to save it out as a targa down here in the file type select I want to replace it because I already had one from the example I did earlier on my desktop. It's Targa. Include materials is fine. Use common settings. Tangent space is fine. We want to connect the map to the assigned shader, the blend that we just put on it. We'll leave these be. We'll go down into advanced options right now. Um, we'll leave it at closest to envelope and leave the search depth there. We'll make it um, surface normals that's set now we'll go in Maya common output and this is where you determine the resolution of your map you can do a 1024 or 2048 really high res for the tutorial example I'm going to do a 256 by 256 because it's fast and small we'll transfer it in world space um, I am for the tutorial I'm going to leave it at low sampling um, you could do high or medium medium is usually fine I'm going to leave all these other options the same and I'm going to click well, actually, before I do that, I want to show. I need to show you something. All right. In order for the low res polygon here to get the normal information from this high res, um, it needs to be able to see it. So we're going to go back up to the top, and on our target mesh, under display here, we want to view the mesh and the envelope. So both. Okay. And the envelope's sitting right on top of it right now, so you don't see it. But when I do search envelope percentage, and pull it out you'll see that it's you can see the envelope see it? it's that red thing that's where it's gonna look to see for the look for the high-res geometry so actually I'm gonna pull this high-res geometry closer to the door and just make sure our envelope is outside of the high-res and it is it's out here so it can look through that look at this high-res door and project that onto the low-res so basically we're all set I'm gonna hit bake and close We'll give it a few moments. Okay, it's done. All right, we don't see anything yet. You see the blend shining. We're going to hide the high-res mesh because we don't need it anymore. And we have our single polygon plane. We could render it, but if we just want to see it on the fly and see what it looks like, we're going to go under this little thing here, Renderer, and just do high-quality rendering. And there, there it is. That is a single face polygon right there with all the detail that's been projected from what we put in front of it. 
and you can put anything in front of it you want uh, as long as the envelopes outside of it can see it and project it onto this here um, and to see what it looks like in Photoshop the normal map the map it created I'll go to the desktop and open it up and there's the map it created and that's what normal maps look like they're blue and purple and teal and it's just the detail that's it that's basically how to create a normal map inside of Maya if anyone wants I can go in more detail uh, later on with settings